Recently, I noticed my son's always watching these quiz videos. And what shocked me was how these simple faceless videos were getting millions of views. So I looked into how these videos were being made and it turns out most people are just doing it manually using ChatGPT, Canva, and a bunch of other tools. It works, but it's slow. So I decided to challenge myself. What if I could create these videos 100% automatically and post them to every platform without lifting a finger? Turns out this was a lot harder to do than I thought, but after weeks of building and testing, I finally cracked the code. Here's what it looks like. Today we ask about Star Wars. Who built C-3PO? This automation will create engaging quizzes like this for any topic and in any language. In this video, I'm gonna show you the exact system I built and how you can copy the whole thing step by step. No coding, no editing, no experience needed. Whether you wanna grow a faceless channel or create quiz content for your own business niche, this works. So what you see here is a 100% automated system that's going to create quizzes around any topic you give it and then post that content to all your social platforms. And to make this as easy as possible for you, I'm giving you my entire system that you can import and start using in just a few minutes for free. Many other automation channels charge for these workflows or gate them behind paid school communities. So all I ask in return is that you please like this video. So click the link below and you can grab this entire blueprint for free. And next, in order to import your blueprint, you're gonna wanna get N8N, which is the visual automation builder you see here that makes it really easy to build these complex automations. I've linked it down below too, and when you're on the site, just hit get started, and you can create your account in a few seconds. So after you log in, go to create workflow, and then hit the three dots, go to import from file, and select the blueprint file you just downloaded and boom, your automation pops up right away. So here I've done all the heavy lifting for you and you're just gonna customize a few things and you'll be posting social media content in literally just a few minutes. So I'm gonna walk you through what you need to change in each of these modules step by step. So the first module very simply is how often you want this automation to run. So let's say you want it to run every day at 9 a.m. That's how I've set it here. Then that is when it'll automatically run. So you can change this to whatever time period you want. So feel free to make that change just by clicking in here and changing those variables to how often you want this to run. So if you want daily social media content, it might look like this, but you could have multiple schedules as well and you can get as intricate as you want. But that's the first step is to decide how often you wanna post. So that is set schedule. Next, we're gonna get the video topic. And so we're gonna be using a tool called Airtable. And so just go to Airtable.com and sign up for free. And you can use Google or Apple or enter your email and create a free account. It takes a few seconds. Now with your blueprint file, you would have gotten a document with all the links you're going to need as well. So just click on this link to actually get my example Airtable database. I'm gonna explain this in a moment, but for now, all you need to do is sign into Airtable with your new account, hit copy base and add the base to your Airtable. All you're basically doing is cloning this spreadsheet. Now, once you've done that, you'll be able to edit this and to give you a cue for what to do, I've left you a bunch of examples here. And this right here is the ID and you don't need to do anything here. It just automatically adds a value whenever you add a new row. Don't even worry about that. It does it automatically the way I've set it up. Next, you need to choose your topic. So this is what your quiz will be about. So you, you see some examples here, medicine, cinema, Star Wars, world geography, whatever you want, you can make it about, you can just type in a few simple words, as you can see the examples here. And then you can set the difficulty, just choose expert, easy, average, I've set it up for you. And then you can even do this in different languages and you basically can enter any language you want. And you can see examples in Italian, Japanese, English, of course, Korean, Arabic, so on and so forth, Spanish. Next, you're actually going to choose your voice model. And I'll link this reference sheet for you down below so you can change it if you want to. And then you can just choose your language and listen to the people. In springtime, the... In springtime, the god. So basically you're just choosing which voice you like best and there's tons of options for tons of different languages as you see. So just copy and paste the name exactly how you see it here. Now a quick note, Azure is one voice model that actually doesn't cost you any additional credits. But if you use 11 labs, I have an example in here, it does cost you some credits. So for 99% of people, I would just recommend you leave it alone. 
I just wanted to mention that if you do prefer 11 laps, which is a different voice model. Next, you can choose your font and Noto Sans will basically work for any of these sort of romantic languages like English, Italian, Spanish, anything really um, that uses sort of those types of characters that you see here. And there of course are also different characters for different languages that don't use those same characters that you typically see in these languages. And you can just go to Google Fonts to find the font that you need if you're not using English or one of those languages as an example. And then this right here is the status column. So when we make our videos, that's how it's going to know which videos have already been made and which ones to move on to. So it's going to automatically update this. And I've also left a few examples so you can see what these videos actually look like. So here, I'll give you an example of the cinema real quick. Today we ask about cinema. Who directed 2001, A Space Odyssey. And so you see that, and let's listen to one in Japanese here. And so you get the idea there. And so that's just so you can actually have a reference whenever it makes a video for you, whenever the system does, where that asset is. Now, so now that I've explained all the columns, all you actually need to do is enter the topics. So if you want to have a quiz channel with various topics, you could keep it varied like this. You could have medicine and cinema and pop trivia and anything you want. And you can have a different topic for each video if you'd like, or you can keep it about one topic and so each video is going to be on one row so if you always want it to be about cinema then you could technically get cinema here and make a hundred rows and you would just make it filled with just cinema and you can add as many rows as you want so if you wanted to queue up a thousand videos you could do that right now and just make them whatever you'd like and then of course set your language and all of this here and then that's all you need to do to make this specific to your niche and so these would be entertainment examples but if if you're doing this for your own business and you want to make content for your own niche, then of course enter that very specific topic here. And you don't have to write the topic in any specific way because we're going to be using AI to interpret what you say. So it's almost impossible for you to get this wrong. So once you've set that up, now you just need to connect your Airtable to this workflow. So double click the icon and then you need to enter your access token. So to create your token, just go to Airtable.com slash create slash tokens here and then go create token and then name your token and what you're going to want to do is add the following scopes so you can just go data.records read data.records write and schema bases read and then give your token a name quiz quiz auto and then it's going to give you a token that you'll only be shown once and you copy it. Next, click on head back to N8N, click the pencil here and paste that token you just got in. And that is all you need to do. Basically just grab your token. And I almost forgot under access, make sure you go add base and add the spreadsheet, what's called the database here that you just cloned. So just add that in there and make sure you save the changes. So that's all we need to do for this. Next, you just need to connect your OpenAI account because we're going to be using ChatGPT to actually create the quiz questions based on the topics that you gave it. So if you don't have an OpenAI key already, go to platform.openai.com, sign up for ChatGPT. If you don't have an account already, then click the gear icon here, go down to API keys and create a new secret key and load about five bucks because that's all you really need to make this work. So just make sure you load some credits for ChatGPT to use. So once you've done that, then enter the API key you just got and hit save. That is all you have to do for this. Now I've already formatted everything for you. And so it talks about the number of questions, how it's going to work and everything. So you do not, and all the coding I've done for you. So you do not have to do anything here, but you can make some changes if you'd like, if you're more advanced, feel free to, but for most people, you don't need to do anything here. All you're doing is adding your own account. That's it. Now you've entered the video topics that it's going to use every single single time. And so what you see is it's going to do one at a time. So if you have a hundred videos, it's going to publish one video 
in whatever schedule you previously set. You could make this five, so you could do five videos at a time if you wanted or however many you want, but I've left it at one. And so it's just going to go by the ID. So it's just gonna go to the next video in line that hasn't yet been produced. So in our case, it would be this one because this is the next ID that hasn't yet been done. And you'll see that when we actually generate the video, when we get to that step. Okay, so now we have the topic and ChatGPT is gonna write all the quiz questions for us. Now we need to make the actual video. So to do that, we're gonna be using a tool called JSON2 Video. So click the link below and just hit get your free API key. And when you use my link, you're actually gonna get 600 credits for free. So that's plenty to try this out. And then you can just sign up with Google or enter your email here. And then from within JSON2 Video, go to API keys and then add a new API key, which you're then going to copy. You can hit here and then you can copy that key. Then head back to N8N and just paste your key here. And that is all you have to do. Again, I've done all of the coding stuff for you. So with this module, it's going to submit the content to be created. Now here is just waiting for the video to be rendered and have an intelligent process here where it's going to check every 15 seconds if the video is done being rendered. And each video is gonna take about two to three minutes, I find generally. And then once the video is rendered, it's going to update our spreadsheet with done and enter in the result, which would be the video's URL. So you can watch it here as well. And again, you just need to go here and choose your personal token, which you already set up in this Airtable step. So now with that is the whole process to create the video. And so that is halfway done. Now the rest of it is just as easy. So the next thing you need to do is choose your ChatGPT account you already set up. Again, just go here and choose the thing you just set up already. Now you don't have to change any of this. So what we're gonna be doing here is writing the social captions for the video we just created. So ChatGPT is going to be taking all the content it created and making a compelling caption for it. Next, some platforms like YouTube and Pinterest also need a separate title. So that's what this right here will be doing if you're publishing on those platforms. Again, you do not have to change anything here. All you're gonna do is make sure you're using your ChatGPT account. Next, in order to easily publish to all our platforms, we're gonna be using a tool called Blotato. So click the link in the description down below, hit try it for free, and you do get a seven day trial, but we actually need access to the API and it says that. So this is the only tool you do have to pay for if you want to publish everything automatically. If you don't want to publish everything automatically, you could stop at this step, download the videos yourself, and post it yourself to social media. And that's going to still save you a lot of time, but you still have to write all those captions and post to each platform by yourself. But if you want it all done for you, all the captions and everything and posting to all these platforms, then you do need to sign up for Blotato. So after signing up for Blotato, go here and go to settings. Then what you're going to want to do is sign in to each of your social profiles. It's going to take 10 seconds for each one. So just hit log in and just enter your username and password for all of your platforms. And so once you've done that, you'll see all of your connected accounts here. Then after you've done that, hit settings again, go to API and go copy API key. Then head back on over to your workflow, hit the pencil icon here and paste in your new API key you just got. And that's just to authenticate your Blotato account. And you do not have to do anything else. What we're doing here is we're taking this file that you just generated and automatically uploading it to Blotato so we can post to all your platforms. The next step is optional. I've kept it in here just to be safe, just to wait one minute so we can make sure the video fully uploads to Blotato. And then you'll see all of the social profiles here. And by default, I've deactivated them all so the automation doesn't break because I don't know which platforms you will be using. So in this example, let's say you want to use TikTok then you would just hit the little power button there to turn on TikTok, double click on it, 
and then you will simply connect your Blotato account, which you already did. And then you would just choose the platform because you already connected all your accounts right within Blotato. So it'll just show up in your dropdown. And so you would then choose your account and then that is all you have to do. You're just picking your account. You don't have to change anything. Likewise, let's say we also want to do Facebook and we would double click on that and you can see that right there. And I'll also show you YouTube here and you'll see within YouTube, actually, I've already set it up to write the video title for you. So it'll use that intelligently only if it's relevant. And again, you would choose the platform, you would choose your channel and I'll show you one more with Instagram. Just turn that on and so you can see right there. So very simple, whichever platforms you connected, turn those ones on and then choose it within the appropriate module. And then when you're done, make sure you save it. And that is it. We are ready to test our workflow. So if you want to test it, then just hit execute workflow. And so we can see here the output. So it went and grabbed the Star Wars video, which is the next one it needs to make the quiz about the Star Wars topic. Then OpenAI came up with a bunch of questions regarding Star Wars, a quiz right here, as you can see, who killed Jabba the Hutt, whatever. Now it's waiting for the video to finish and it's just going to keep scrolling through and checking every 15 seconds and it's going to update the table. So what we should see is it should change this to done and then update the URL for us automatically when it gets to the next step, if everything is configured correctly. And so you can see we're still waiting here and let's give it a few more seconds. And again, like I said, it might take up to two or three minutes to render this video for you. And so it passed through that step and updated the status to done. And we can even watch the video right here. Today we asked about Star Wars. But let's hop back over to the workflow and we can see now it's written that social media caption. We can read it right here, ready to test your Star Wars expertise. And you can see it's even done hashtags and everything for you to maximize the amount of reach you get. And just so you know, I've formatted this to be universal for any platform. So even X, it'll never go above 280 characters. So it'll work across all platforms. And then there is a title if we were posting to YouTube, which in our example, we are because we're posting to TikTok. Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And so the system waited one minute to make sure it's uploaded and then boom, it just posted to all our platforms. And so we can see it posted to all our platforms, TikTok, here's YouTube, Facebook, and you get the idea. And of course you could have activated any other platforms you want like LinkedIn X or Pinterest as well. Now I want to share some troubleshooting tips. If for whatever reason, something is not posting, you can actually go into Blotato, go to publish posts and actually see all of the posts it did publish. And so you can just click there and view it, or you can even see if some posts failed and you can look into why that happened and even hit retry to try again, because sometimes the API hits a limit and so again, Occasionally, you might have to do it again. And likewise, within JSON to video, go to render logs and you can see the videos that you've made. Today, we asked about. So basically you can see if it's breaking down at the rendering part or at the posting part and what's the part you have to fix if you've misconfigured something. So that's how easy it is to create 100% automated quiz videos. This type of content just engages audience because naturally everyone loves quizzes. So you can use it to create an entertainment type channel as a lot of people do, or you could actually use it as a different type of content within your business niche to sort of break up your promotional content and to just try and add a little bit more variety to your content and just build a little bit more engagement. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more content just like this. In fact, if you want more 100% automated video creation, check out this one where I teach you how to create automated viral stories. I'll see you in there.